Hello, we are researchers Rihanna Kum and Yoon Garrison from Bates College, and we're going to talk about our research project uh, entitled We Deserve to Learn About Ourselves, the Voices Among Women of Color Students in Predominantly White Institutions. And this is part of the poster session three, our unique intersecting identities. Uh, some brief uh, introduction about our study. It's a qualitative study that seeks to document the narrated experiences of women of color college students in the United States who are attending predominantly white institutions. Theoretically, our study is based on the psychological framework of radical healing in communities of color. And we interviewed 12 uh, women of color college students, and we found three major themes that we will talk about in the presentation. A little bit of background. In February of 2021, uh, aerospace engineer, Dr. Swati Mohan contributed to NASA's Mars a 2020 mission by controlling the landing of the Mars rover successfully. Despite this fact, only a limited number of news reports acknowledge Dr. Mohan's accomplishment. As an extension of this observation, we as authors considered more fully the pervasive pattern in which the stories and accomplishments of women of color are often dismissed by the dominant societal perspectives as deficient, unscholarly, or unimportant. And, research and researchers and therapists have worked really hard to address and eliminate the oppressive conditions that can over time lead to isolation, imposter feelings, violence, self-censorship, emotional fatigue, and career barriers among women of color. Beyond the available literature, there is a growing need to expand our analysis in, man in a manner that accounts for young women of color college students in predominantly white institutions. Theoretically, we use the concept of academic self-concept that is defined as beliefs about one's academic abilities, and it is impacted by stereotype threat, racialism, and racial trauma, and gender bias. And we also use a psychological framework of, framework of radical healing in communities of color, and this framework is rooted in a key critical paradigm that includes Black psychology, critical racial theory, uh, race, theory, feminism and intersectional theory, liberation psychology and ethno-political theory. So our, our investigation focuses on the systemic conditions that are present in PWI, as well as how the individual and collective power of women of color contribute to their overall wellness and academic success. And based on our qualitative method, we uh, participate in the full reflexivity process. And our research team consists of two women of color researchers who experience PWI as a, a, their familiar setting. And as a research team, we discuss our biases, values, and uh, assumptions that may impact our uh, data analysis process. Our participants are 12 women of color students from PWI in the US, five are uh, South Asian American, five are African-American, two are Latina-American, and one is biracial-American. And we use thematic analysis and framework analysis as an analytic method. Really important themes emerge from our data. The first overarching theme is oppressive conditions in PWI that is supported by some following themes. The first one is the, uh, being the only woman of color in PWI. Second, a lack of safe, inviting, and affirming spaces. Third, non-inclusive curriculum. The second overarching theme is dynamics between academic self-concept and PWI, supported by sub-themes such as stereotype threat, imposter feelings, academic pressure to excel, behaving in a certain way, and working harder from the margin. The last overarching theme is women of color's liberatory process and potentials in PWI, supported by empowering the self and resisting oppression, holding radical hope, desiring and embracing cultural authenticity, cultivating critical consciousness and building solidarity with and connection to others. Based on these findings, we want to talk about some discussion. First of all, our study has some limitations. Um, the finding of our study may be influenced by the self-selection bias, which means our finding may reflect only the narrative of those who willingly chose to relay their experiences to the research team. For future uh, therapy practice, it may be important to address this dialectical reality by identifying their woman of color holistically rather than a random part. And also design woman of color support, a student-led or therapy facilitated group programs that focus on uh, sense of security and hope. 
Uh, in terms of future research, it may be important to explore various cultural heritage that are related to women of color to integrate this population's cultural authenticity into their everyday ed education practice and therapeutic approaches. If you have any questions about this research, please contact the researcher. Uh, the content information is on the right slide. Thank you so much.